right, well now we have to mentally bounce back from losing with a Gwen 3 and 6 Sugarcraft because reasons. Because reasons. Support Anvil. So which will get more feedback, Gwen 3 or Fiora 3? I mean, I'm still salty over the 9 Fairy game yesterday. <laughs> Especially because one person was like, is it really that bad that that happened? And I like, I had to blink. I had to blink a couple times. I was the other Sugarcraft player and I got the 2200 stacks. Nice. Yeah, I mean, we probably would have lost to you anyway with the 2200 stacks, but still feels a little bad to lose the way we did. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Bounce back. Two zillions. Actually, I think we'll do like this. Play that for a bit. By the way, was that Gwen stunned by Nora? It doesn't say she stuns your Gwen. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll say, clipping that fight will be useful. But it's also the kind of thing where it's like, I shouldn't be finding these things on my stream, you know? So. All right, it is my pick. Uh... Sugar crafters gain 50 health and 8% chance to drop one gold on kill for each component they hold. Gain a Sorok. That one sounds fun. It's definitely not this. We've already we've already played this. It's garbage. It's actually awful. Yeah, I really want to try this, but. I'm gonna wait a second. I mean, I could try to go Ash 3, even though I think it's terrible. I actually think that's the play. I'm gonna do Ash 3. I have an idea. I have an idea. We can make this work. Yeah, we can make this work. I have an idea. Okay. I have a direction. McDonald's and Mort Dog, my favorite day. Dude, I want McDonald's. That's not true. I don't actually want McDonald's. Okay. 20 gold. We don't mind losing for a little bit. And we're going to use this to find a Neela or a Syndra. I had Ash 3, 7 multi-striker with double Ginses and Runons. It was hilarious. Fun. Still went fifth. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure Ash is bad. I'm pretty sure it's bad. Why did you only get one at least? Because I already used it on Ash. I already used it on Ash.
Is reinforcement still in the game? Yep, still is. Still is. What does Ash 3 even scale to? Uh, I mean, she scales in the sense she gains 50% more AD. Because every champion gains 50% more AD. Uh, Lentis, appreciate the eight months. Missed you, buddy. Hope the move went well and welcome back. It's okay. The move went okay. Also, I took Stars Are Born and I'm lost streaking, so that always ends up well. <laughs> I need to Lost Streak anyway, though, because Ash items are very particular, so... Can we kill the... kill the Poppy? Yeah, nice. Just hit Category 5 here? No, Category 5 is pretty bad here. Alright, where's my Rod? It's on the other side, on a 3 cost, though. Two Rods, nice. That's fine. You can have that. I'll take my Eldridge unit. Cool. Is the set out Wednesday? It sure is. Happy Fun Panda. Appreciate the 14 months. Super Bond Bay. Appreciate the 11 months. Thank you. Uh, hey, more game dev question. I've always wondered when the break point is for games to focus on player retention over acquisition. I imagine TFT with the frequency of new sets tackles both very well, whereas say SR is past its peak and may have shifted to retention. Games like WoW struggle with it so much. Oh, this is a good question. I'm going to give you a controversial opinion, though, because, again, I'm not a typical game dev sometimes. So my opinion's going to sound a little weird and pretentious here, but my opinion is you shouldn't actually care about those. Thinking about games in terms of retention and new player acquisition is like, I mean, I get it, but it's very business oriented. And one of the reasons I like Nintendo and the way they do it is they don't think of it like that. They think of like, is the game fun? Why wasn't the game fun? How do we make it more fun for next time? Let's figure out what we're doing. So, you know, I never even heard terms like retention and acquisition before I came to Riot. Nintendo, it was literally just like, guys, the game isn't as fun. New players are struggling with the game. Make it better. So... I don't know. I think a lot of energy should be focused on that first and then the rest will come later. So I probably should have taken the Cassidy, by the way, at this point, but may as well lose one more. It's like Elden Ring versus Dark Souls. They clearly made an effort to make it more acquisition focused. Did they or did they just make the game better? I don't know. Like I said, it's just not how I think about games. Okay. Full loss streak with Stars Are Born. That never backfires. Just kidding, it always backfires. Aha! But at least we full lost streaked, I guess. Poor Ash. Pretty sure Ash is a bad champion. Is Ash even doing damage? I mean, barely more than Neela. Uh, when releasing a new set, do you guys put focus on whether other big games are coming out? I mean, our schedule is every four months. We're not changing that schedule, so no. Okay, a lot of rerolls. Yeah. 
Give me some ashes. Seven ashes? I'm gonna go a little further. Alright. We hit eight, which is close, but not quite enough. Skipped Mord? That's okay. I'd want to go down to 30, but at this point I'm running out of bench space, so... Lose by one would be great. Eh, lose by two. Okay. Isn't Neela 1 better than Syndra 2 unitemized? Certainly not. Certainly not. Star levels affect your Eldritch Summons HP, so that alone should make it not worth. I mean, I'm just going to take this. God, Prismatic. This is actually tough, though, but I'm just going to take the crown. Like, I'm just not even going to think about it. Eldridge incoming? No, but I do need a multi-striker. I need to hit the Ash, level up, put in a multi-striker, like, really quick. Is Eldridge craftable? It is. It is. Uh, Ninja Mittens, appreciate the seven months. Hey, Mort. Welcome back to Washington. We're glad to have you. Hope the move was smooth. It was not, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hey, we won a fight. Fights are winnable. That's a second Rage Blade? Yeah, ideally that's a second Rage Blade. Write a sternly worded letter to the city inspector. Ugh. The fact that we finally got our temporary occupancy, that's all that matters, so. Multi-striker. Holly is a multi striker. I could just buy that for now. Eh, I'll wait. Have you ever played Path of Exile? I have. I didn't find the combat as enjoyable as like Diablo, but I found their systems to be really good. I think their systems design is amazing. Can Ash kill a Poppy 1? The million dollar question. <laughs> oh, Ash is a... F Whoa, Eldridge though. The Eldridge did work. Good job, Eldridge. Yo, kiting, appreciate the raid. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Uh, Mort back. I'm back. Nature is healing. Gotta win. Gotta win worlds. Kiting, right? Right. <laughs> After my intuitive retention question, Riot just DM me a job offer. See you in Monday Zoom call as your new retention specialist. See, the problem is though, you get tactics like, well, in order to increase retention, we're going to give out like I don't know. The the tactics just become very bizarre. Two free rerolls, sure. Okay. 
We hit the ash. The question is, do I roll for these two or keep going? I think we keep leveling now. Yeah, I think we just keep leveling. Get that multi-striker in. Try to go to seven Eldridge as quick as we can. be shooting all right best third item here by the way is uh uh uh, uh death blade death blade's what we want we're on a three round win streak i want to keep the win streak up We'll go like that. A collie would be better, but I don't have a collie. So I think metrics like retention, acquisition, etc. become important when gaming companies begin to cater more to their shareholders and the whole infinite exponential growth mindset. Would you agree? I don't know that that necessarily means they're just thinking about their shareholders, but I think it's like I said, it's just it's a business mindset as opposed to a game design mindset. You know, if you're running a business, you care about metrics like that. That's important. Those are metrics that keep your business alive, right? McDonald's thinks about retention and how they get their customers to return. Uh, Walmart thinks about that, right? That's good business practice. But like I said, I'm not a business owner. I don't run a business. I make games. So it's just not the way I think about things. But should somebody at Riot think about those things? Probably. Probably. So... Just hit Challenger for the first time. Thank you for making such a fun game. Nice. Congrats on Challenger. That is impressive. Games are a business, though. I mean, they can be, for sure. Do I ever even want Syndra 3? I mean, it's a free Syndra 3 if it is. Be fine. If balance is anything to go off of, you don't think about that either. I swear to God, Azir my first stream back why why you gotta be like this why 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 you gotta be like this man come on okay I'm gonna do something a little weird here but I think it's actually the correct play Yeah, I think the Quicksilver will make it so that nothing can go wrong. And it's still just extra ramping attack speed. And then we have the Shred from the Elise, and hopefully we hit the Elise 3 at some point. Obviously, lack of frontline is a big deal here, but... There we go. Ash doing work. Ash doing work. Okay. There we go. When can I play this out on live servers? Wednesday. Wednesday. Have you ever considered Sinister Deal worth it? No, to be honest with you. Is Ash one cost? Yes. It's not Blossoming Lotus, it's not Spell Blades, it's probably Support Golem. Oh, never mind, I guess I just win the game. This augment is busted and unfair and not good. Like, it, it, this, this augment is busted. So, this one needs, like, a swift kick in the pants. But I'm going to take it because... Why wouldn't I? So, this augment, for those who don't know, says... The Eldridge Summon is now holding beneficial items. So, my Eldridge Summon is getting bigger and gains 5% health and 10 ability power. So the summon, and I'll show you the items it has. We're gonna go to eight so that we can get the seven Eldridge. Buff other augments instead, uh, about that. 
All right, so there you go. He's got a Bloodthirster and a Death Cap now. And he's here. Doing a lot of damage. If you were to nerf that, what would you change? I mean, it needs a pretty big nerf. Uh, next turn, we're going to level up and we're going to find the Nami. We either need Nami or Briar. Mord one over one of the Syndras. Right now, Syndra is better because, again, star level, star level of your Eldritch units makes the summon bigger. So a two-star Syndra makes the summon bigger than a one-star Mordekaiser. We're firing missiles. It is still a Swain, though, so we we'll probably still lose. Yep, it is a Swain. The items don't change? No. No. Uh, what's that little icon next to the player's combat? That's the charm that they bought. I mean, there's a Briar, if I can just get the Briar. That'd be pretty good. If I can't get the Briar, I'll take the Spat. Oh, it's gonna be close. Damn it. That's a shame. That Briar would have been great. Ash's damage just goes one, 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 one. Yeah, a lot of ones add up, I guess. Hey, Mort, nothing to say. Honestly, the Battle Bunny skin looks good. Awesome job taking my money. No problem. Good. And done. Nah, save the gold. We'll save the gold. Maybe remove stat buffs from it and give it these gloves. Oh, the problem with the stat buffs, though, is, like, that's a balance lever. So it's, we do need at least a little small stat buff. Like, it might just be as simple as, like, lowering it down to one beneficial item or something. But, yeah, so here you can see it now at 7 Eldridge. I get an Anima Visage on it, which is pretty busted. So... What is 10 Eldridge? 10 Eldridge is busted in a good way. It's fun. All right, I'm not rolling for anything. I'm going to switch positions up a tiny bit, but otherwise... This is kind of our comp. Okay. Yeah, I'm not rolling for at least three. If it appears, great, but I'm not rolling for it. Pretty standard Ash comp with a high roll augment. So. Hey, this person's me, but like 10 times weaker. Go, Ash, go. Whee! What's the average placement of this augment? I mean, if you believe like meta TFT, it's like 3.2 or something. It's pretty insane. Uh, Rin Selter, appreciate the two years. Please allow me to double Golden Squink in celebration of the new house. Thank you. Did you guys like the picture I posted on Twitter, by the way, of what's back there so you guys can see what's all back there? A lot of cool stuff. It's good, but it's also Giga Noob Stomper. I mean, I think it's just good. I don't know if it's Noob Stomper.
Armor. Uh, I don't have anti-heal yet, so what I'll probably do... Okay, there's a one in three chance right now, by the way. Or no, it's way worse than that. But if Ash levels up with this Moonlight Ritual, I'll have a four-star Ash. And yes, that can happen. Come on, come on, come on. No, at least start up. Darn. Almost had four-star Ash there. Whee! I mean, the bear's only got, you know, 115 armor and MR... 90 armor and MR, 200 AD. Seems pretty good. Gain an artifact anvil. You know what? I'm far enough ahead. Screw it. Okay. Talisman? Talisman on who, though, would have been the problem. I think this is actually correct. Yeah, RFC Neela seems totally fine here. And again, my front line looks really bad until the giant 6,000 bear comes in. Whee! Ash go pew! Pew, 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 pew! Oh, that was actually a little close, but we won. It's good. Hello, Mort. Happy for you and the family for the move and hope you all the best. I don't know if it was fixed or not, but I had that Eldritch Augment and got what the forge with it and it was bugged every round. Yeah, I think they fixed that is what I heard. Uh, gain six rerolls. The shop cost four player health. Yeah, screw it. I'll go to nine and try to get those. Sell the other Elise? What? I'm trying to get at least three. Why would I sell a lease? What are you talking about? What? The rerolls carry over? Yep. So now we have this cool reroll counter. This is one of the best quality of life changes. There's no such thing as a temporary reroll anymore. Temporary rerolls do not exist. All rerolls are always permanent. You can save them for as long as you want. They're like a consumable now. It's kind of cool. How did Volley get items? This augment, school mascot. The Eldridge Summon is holding beneficial items, and it's a very, very good augment. Is Jax the best multi-striker for this comp? No, not at all. The only reason he's even good right now is because he's three-star, but eventually if I just switch him for uh, Camille, that'd be the best. away from Jax 3. Uh, next combat, every six seconds a champion joins combat from your bench. I'm down. I'm down. Cool. Alright, well, three star means the Eldridge got even more health. So, that's a three-star Vex. That's scary. Help me, Jax. Help me, other Jax. <laughs> Too funny. All the Jax has helped. Look at that. Look at the damage, though. Ash... A little. The bear? 
8,000? Okay. Uh, no, I'm not polymorphing. I mean, yeah. Can I find the jacks? Can I find the jacks? Can I find the jacks in time? No! Give me the jacks! Hey, there we go, we got him. We did it. There we go. Mort not even knowing which orb is which. Look, I'm playing like a player, okay? I totally know. I don't know. All right, can we beat a Swain 3? It's looking like yes. We have anti-heal. It's looking like no. Jeez Louise. Whew. Holy moly. Ash out damage volley? True. True. Uh, so next would be just Camille. We literally just want to find a Camille or a uh, Briar. Just for more Eldritch power. Probably just Briar, to be honest. Got any briars? Gonna go down to 20. Ooh, Camille. Uh. All right, one more Syndra. Oh, they have the... That's the carry golem. That thing's scary, too. Zareth, stop it. Zareth, stop it. Zareth, stop it. Oh, Zareth. Oh, the bear. Oh, the bear killed him. Uh, we just heard the song 10 minutes ago. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Like I said, YouTube's really bad right now. My normal playlist randomizer is gone. So that means I get to pick a song, though. Gain a random effect. What do we get? We got four target dummies. Great. I like four target dummies. Mordekaiser. Oh, wait, is that it? Is this my GG? This might be GG. Swain 3, though, again. The Swain 3 is hard to kill. But let's see. And Swain's healing. Stop him from healing. Stop him. Hey, is that it? Is that a first? With Ash Carry completely ignoring the overpowered augment? Hey, we did it. So apparently I can win every game except the one I get a three star forecast. Sweet, GG.